Um, it'd be a lot easier if I had my own checking account, but I know at my age, I couldn't keep up the minimum balance. You can have a checking account at State Bank and Trust, first checking, and it's just for young people under 21 years, plus there's no minimum balance. A first checking account from State Bank and Trust, the first step toward financial independence designed for young people under 21 years of age. It combines affordability and the benefits of other checking plans with no minimum balance. First checking at State Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. Greg Stolemeyer, Bob Miranda as we start the second quarter, and it is on an up note for Central that they start the second quarter as we get back to action. They go for the bomb into the end zone for the 22-yard line, and Billy Martin has thrown interception number two. It was intended for the speedster Vic Johnson to cruise played center field, and the quarterback on offense, who has had a couple of fumbles, comes up with a big play for his team with an interception. So now, Houchins has an interception, and so does Cruz. He's also had a fumble recovery against Tate's Creek. Cruz had three interceptions last year, second on the team. Football back to central, 20-yard line on the touchback. Acker, the quarterback, the left-hander. He's going to pass over the middle, double pumps, and he has the ball tipped away from him. He picks it back up. He's going to run with the football, and down he goes into 21. And he fumbled the football again. The ball goes out of bounds. Who gets back on it? Central does. Well, Central has had its problems. He actually fumbled the football twice there, per se. Went back to pass and lost the football. They had a man cutting over the middle open. Steve Evans from the left wide out here on the near side of the field. And I don't know if Acker couldn't see him. He had a tall lineman in his face. Lost the ball, went and got it, got it when he was hit, scrambling. I said 21, I meant 16. He was, he was hit it to 21 and lost the ball out to the 16, a loss of force. They actually had two fumbles on the play. Lafayette's thrown two interceptions. Central's fumbled the football four times, lost two of them. Acker, who legs this way, throws down the sideline. Sean Evans catches, juggles, catches again. Beautiful catch by Sean Evans, the 6 7 tied in at the 46. That was a circus catch, Bob. Nearly pass interference by Lafayette. I saw the official reaching for his flag. So Evans with a big catch. Total of 30 yards. For Sean, that's his third catch of the year for 56 yards. First pass reception of the of the evening. And let's see if that can juvenate. Get that, get a little juice into the central offense. Acker has looked pretty good at quarterback. Well, South Paul, who plays the baseball for the Indians, hand off into the middle to Farrell. Ferris at a yard to the 47 for Farrell. That'll make it second down and nine at the 47. 10 minutes, 50 seconds to go. Quarter number two, 10-0 Lafayette. They've had a field goal of 32 yards. 20-yard touchdown pass. Lafayette has decided the offense is the passing game here. Central only had five yards of offense in the first quarter. Lafayette had a total of 58. Ferris breaking over midfield to the 45-yard line and very close to what is needed for the first down. Up out of the secondary quarterback, Mark Phillips, a 5'8 senior, trips him down. And they say Farrell Ferris is down right at the 45 of Lafayette. And that's about a foot short of what is needed for the first down. Pickup of eight by Ferris, three carries for Farrell, 11 yards, most effective rusher on the central team. Wide out to the right side, and wide out to the left side. Craig Faulkner, I believe, is a wide out right. They hand it right up the middle to Ferris, and he gets the first down to the 43. Pick up a two for the 5'9", junior linebacker, fullbacker. Clock at 9.45, first down Indians, or second of the evening. And the Evans pass got him going. Boy, if they had lost that ball when Acker was hit, they would have been really downtrodden. Let a kickoff get behind him. Fumbled a couple of times deep in their own territory. This is the first time Central has crossed the Mississippi River and gotten into Lafayette territory. Football at the 43, pitch back, 
Rolling right, Richardson, around the end he goes. 40, 35, down to the 30, and he is thrown out of bounds, and I could see a yellow flag on that. They didn't throw one, but I'll tell you what, folks. That was up near personal foul territory in this reporter's opinion. I thought he threw a pretty high elbow there as he was heading out of bounds. I thought Johnson did, but nevertheless, at the 30-yard line, big pickup on the play of about 13 yards for Richardson. A key block by number 35, Bicknell for Central. The fullback. First down at 10 Central. Got a little bounce back at her step now at the 30. Acker, the quarterback, has got him up. High operation behind. Late pitch, catch Speller. Speller drives forward to the line of scrimmage. Good one on one defense. Right there on top and waiting for him and catching him. Not letting him go anywhere is Antoine George. He's a good defensive football player as well as a nice tailback. 5'10 senior monster back. Second and 10 at the 30. Clock underneath nine minutes. In the first half, timeout central. 8.55 left to nothing Lafayette. We'll be there, Bob Miranda. Second quarter, 8.55 to go. Lafayette on defense, up 10, nothing. Central the football at the Generals 30. Acker, the new quarterback for Cruz. High behind him. Speller gets the pitch, halfback throw, throwing towards the end zone. Man out there, turning, catching, touchdown, Steve Evans! Oh, he looked over the left shoulder, twisted his head to the right shoulder, and right over top of him, touchdown! Acker's come off the bench and looked like he's had a more accurate arm. So Steve Evans, who had four touchdown catches last year, comes up with his second catch of the year. And believe it or not, both of them have been touchdown catches because he got the 81-yarder against H. Creek. And here come the Indians. They look so bad early offensively, and all of a sudden they're right back in this football game. Central starting to shake it up on offense, a la Chicago Bears' Walter Payton on that play. Halfback pass from Speller. Something we saw Mike Meinrich do last year. Here's Miller for the extra point kick. It's up, it splits the uprights, and the Indians are back in the warpath. 10 to seven to score, Lafayette leads. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Now is the best time to buy a new Chrysler, Plymouth, or Dodge from Lawson Chrysler, Plymouth Dodge on Big Hill Avenue. For a limited time only, you'll find a closeout on 86 models with 2.4 APR financing or a factory rebate of up to $500. Hurry though, there are just a few models in stock and they won't last long. You know Lawson Chrysler, Plymouth Dodge on Big Hill Avenue. They've been in business at the same location for 21 years, and they service what they sell. Lawson Chrysler Plymouth Dodge. Save now during the 86 model closeout. Ted Speller, a halfback pass. They tossed it back to the tailback, and he lofted it into the end zone. I thought Evans really did a good job keeping his concentration to catch that ball. It's a beautiful catch, a Willie Mays-type catch <laughs> in baseball. He looked over the shoulder and right into his glove for a touchdown, and it's 10 to 7 now. Lafayette by 3 at 8.48 to go. Well, Central had five yards of offense in the first quarter, and all of a sudden, they have racked it up here. 24 rushing, 60 passing, 84, so 79 yards of offense. And we played just two minutes and 12 seconds of the quarter. The quarter started with an interception thrown. See, Lafayette could have been up if they scored there, 17-0. Nice kickoff, Miller taken by Johnson, back at the five. Vic is dangerous, he just hurdles over somebody. Gets up over the 25 to the 26. Didn't really find a clear path there. Down at the bottom of the pile is Dean Turner. Also down helping out Dale Witt, 5'7 junior. First down and 10 for Martin, the quarterback of the Generals at the 26. He's thrown two interceptions tonight through the air. The Lafayette quarterback is three of seven for 45 yards. One touchdown pass thrown, but those two interceptions have hurt. The interceptions by Houchins and by Cruz. Houchins, Turner, Cruz, and I have to check the other secondary player. He just made the tackle. I mean, he just came up and bopped him down. Full head of steam, though, to the 
32-yard line. It was Eric Thomas. Thomas, six-foot senior, playing for Steve Evans right now, just made the catch. But Johnson carried the football and got to the 32. That'll make it second down and four. Leaving the ball game on defense is Travis Lynch. New player at nose guard is Donnie Mead. I believe that's Mead out there playing the nose now. Moving over from the tackle position. Here's the handoff to the second man through going to the left side. It was Antoine George. He got up to about the 34, pick up a two more. They'll make it third down and two. Linebacker Farrell Ferris makes the stop. It'll be a short two. Football almost to 35, so really let's call it third and one. Just short of the 35, they've got to get just over the 35. About four feet for a first down. Clock nearing seven minutes. Second quarter, Lafayette 10, Madison Central 7. Power rating has Lafayette a 7.7 favorite. Into the middle of the line they go, over the 35, first down Lafayette to the 37. Pick up a two at a play. That time, Billy Martin with the sneak. And for Lafayette with the first down, that is their fifth of the evening. That's the first time they have converted on third down, so one for four down. Donnie Mead, it knows, made the stop. Aaron Hopkins, the defensive captain, looking to Gary Ford, who's giving him the signals from the sidelines. Back to relay it to his teammates. Andy Bischoff, the center, up over the football for Lafayette. High formation behind the quarterback. They have a wing to the right side and Theo Hersey. Martin back to pass on first. He turns, he throws for the home run. Thomas defending and off the back of the helmet of Thomas. Great coverage by Eric Thomas. Step for step, stride for stride with Rob Stromberg. And Thomas just put his hands in the face of Stromberg and the ball banked right off the back of the white helmet. Second and 10. I'll tell you one thing, Martin's Got a strong, strong arm. Yeah, they're trying to work to the Madison secondary, but having uh, little success right now. They've Beautiful the, defensive play. Yeah, they've had one big strike. They had one letdown. And I don't know whose fault it was then. I know defensive coordinator Gary Ford was talking to the linebacker Farrell Ferris when he came off the field about the play. Outside of that, the secondary's done a job. Here's a handoff to Antoine George. He may have fumbled. He did fumble. Central says, we got the big skin, and the officials agree. Antoine George had his bell run. And up with the football is big Terry Boggs, a 6'2 senior. So Boggs comes up with it. The Generals have made three mistakes tonight. Two interceptions, a fumble. Central has fumbled the football away. And really, the defenses have set up the offense tonight. Outside of Central, well, the defense got them the football back, but Central had a long drive. Back to that Central drive, it was eight plays, 80 yards, three minutes, seven seconds. Bob, if they could score here at 6.25 to go to second period, they'd have to feel fortunate. It, it might be comfortable to score here, Greg. Oh, it would, it would feel a lot better than it would about 10 minutes ago. Acker hands off into the middle of the line. And not much there for Farrell Ferris, the fullback. May have gotten a yard from the 35 to the 34. He did. I like it. Second and nine. Ferris now has carried five times for 14 yards. Richardson four for eight. Speller two for six. Nose guard Andy Bischoff made the stop, 6'1", senior. Center comes up, handles the football. Acker, the quarterback. Acker replacing Cruz. Acker, handoff Speller, the tailback, fakes the handoff, rolls left, throws, and he just overthrew a wide open tight end, Sean Evans. I mean, Sean was flat, wide open, flagged down anyway. Acker just overthrew him. Let's get the indication. Ineligible receiver downfield. They'll lose the down. They would have anyway. That'll make it third down. Now somebody got out of that neutral zone. And Mike Elkin getting an indication. We didn't tell you. We told you George Caffell was the referee. Here's the men working with him tonight. Umpire John Wright. Jim Diehouse, the headlines. When Randy Mop the field judge, Rick Lentry, the back judge. Fell right, Dias Muppin and Lentry. 
the officials tonight. Putting a helmet on. Steve Dyer talking with Mike Elkin. He'll come out onto the field with the play. Step off on the play of five. Back to the 39-yard line. That'll make it third down and 14. So they'll go to an extra tight end here, apparently, as they take Speller out. See what Central has cooked up here. Miller and Steve Evans, wideouts. Two tight end offense, only one running back, and it's Bicknell, the fullback. And a man in motion, Steve Evans, who has a touchdown catch of 30 yards tonight. On the halfback pass, Acker, plenty of protection. Now he scrambles out of the pocket, runs up field. He's got an opening. Not enough for the first down, but enough to gamble on fourth, possibly, as he gets down to the 31. Pick up a five on a play. That'll make it fourth down at six. Out of Reggie Miller field goal range. 5.09 to go. Punting won't do you much. So here's a big offensive call. Central wants to talk it over. 5.05 to go. First half. Lafayette 10. Madison Central 7. Back in one minute. Steel, the number one selling power product in the world. JNH 32. Fourth down and a long six. They've got to get just outside the 25 for first down. Mike Elkin has called a timeout. He's talked with Dan Acker on the sidelines. Two tight ends. Right side Evans. Left side Dyer. Wide outs Miller this way. Steve Evans, the other wide out, coming to the near side of the field from the far side. Acker to pass over the middle. Overshot Steve Dyer. They tried the little jump pass. It would have been short of the first down anyway, and it was well covered by Ton Snyder, the linebacker. So taking over and downs is Lafayette. Central loses a golden opportunity after the fumble by Antoine George. Five turnovers in this football game. And they have all played a role to an extent. Madison Central today, 30 yards rushing and through the air, 60 for a total of 90. Lafayette, 22 rushing, 45 passing for a total of 67. Wide out to the right side for Lafayette is Jeff Neal. He's had the touchdown pass. They split the backs. They have a wing here to this side. And Martin hands it off to the second man through Johnny Robinson. Goes from right to left out to the 35. Pick up a three of the play. That'll make it second down and seven. Up to make the stop, Eric Thomas, who's played well, coming in for Evans at the cornerback position. Mike Maslin leaving the defensive line now for Central. Central's had a couple of injuries, but Sippel is back and playing, and so is Maslin, who we just told you left the ball game. Johnson is in the slot, the dangerous of Vic Johnson. Handoff though to the running back, Antoine George, for the first down around the left side, out over the 40 to the 43. Pick up a bait on the play. First down, Generals. George has been their best offensive weapon tonight. First down, Generals, 43, rushing out 20, about 28 yards. And first downs, they now have five. Central here as far as first downs this evening, four. Let's give him to the 44 officially. First down, Generals. Tom Fee would like to see his club put some more points on the board. They were out 10 0 early after one. Central scores in the second. Play action, first down. Throwing to the near sidelines. Turning, not getting to it is Vic Johnson. Coverage from the linebacker, Farrell Ferris, along with even closer coverage from Dean Turner. And coming over there also off the line was Donnie Mee. I don't know, that allergy's getting pumped. Somebody's got a pipe up here in the press box, and it is running my allergies up the, up the post. Not the two smoking cigars. No, not at all. <laughs> Stay away from those nasty <laughs> things until you get married and your wife has a baby, and then I may smoke one, Bob. <laughs> That'll be the day. Yeah, <laughs> I was just getting ready for you to say that. <laughs> Second down and 10 football at the 44, general zone territory. Martin again to pass, they've done a lot of it. Strong rush, he is hit and down he goes in the grasp of an on 
incoming rusher, and it is Robert Bowman, a 6'2", 245-pound sophomore. Now, old Robert won't forget that one in a long time. He hasn't played that much this year, but he, and he gets in there. He just saw him a good old quarterback to bring down to the turf, and he did. Back at the 26-yard line, that's a major loss of 18. is down underneath three and a half minutes now. They've got to get out to the 46 in Central Territory. They're at their own 26. So they've got about 28 yards to go. Third down now. See if they'll keep it on the ground. They will. They just plow over left tackle and get to the 29. Antway George Carrick. Central will get their hands back at the football here. Punting time for Jeff Neal and the Generals. 10-7, Lafayette leads. This is W.E.K.Y. Richmond. Join K. Wood Ludford and Ralph Hacker live from Commonwealth Stadium tomorrow as Kent State, the Golden Flashes, breeze into town to become Kentucky's first victim of the year in all likelihood. Akron of the OVC got him by 10 the other day. First time in 53 years the Golden, that the Golden Flashes had lost at Nick Stadium in Kent to Akron. High snaps, Central coming strong. Sean Evans almost got to it. That thing is way up, Major League Papa. Hitting and taking a high hop at the 45 and out of bounds. Big 6-7, Sean Evans right in the face of Jeff Neal when he skied that one. Very short punt as it totaled out to the 45, about 19, make it 15 yards officially. 15 yards at Central at 220. First half, it's a pretty good field position to work with here. Excellent field position. Let's see what the offense of Central can do with David Acker at the helm. We'll give you a field position check here in just a second. You'll notice in the first quarter how Lafayette had great field position all the way through. At the 45, Acker the quarterback. Play action, rolls this way. He's in trouble. He said he's dropped. Back at the 45 in Central Zone territory. Good blitz there. Well, it wasn't a blitz. It was the end. Thought it was a guy on the secondary. He wore number 16, but that is an end, John Devney. Field position check for you. Central, hurry up offense. Can't do it. And now we've got a whistle and a man in motion, Reggie Miller. Miller was offsides or something. Is Yeah, he was offsides. Miller moved into the neutral zone. You can't do that in high school football. And Miller wasn't set for the hurry-up offense, and now Central will back up even further. All the way back to the 39-yard line in their own territory, and they have got to get to the 35. So they now have second and 26. Miller will go far out right as they go to the goal on our left. This side comes Steve Evans. Acker and I behind him. Here's the draw to Richardson. Richardson hit and goes forward to the 43, a pickup of four. Richardson, five carries, 12 yards. Now time to tell you the Central has taken over at its own 25, own 35, own 20, own five, own 20, and then here the last two times, the Lafayette 35 and 44. But listen to where Lafayette has taken over. They have taken over at their own 34. Then at Central's 22, they're 18. Central's 20. Central's 23, their own 26 and their own 33. Three times they've had deep in Central territory to begin drives. They've only come up with 10 points. Third and a whole bunch. Here's Acker, the left-hander, throwing down the sidelines for Steve Evans. He catches, tips, and drops. Good attempt, really not drop. Good coverage downfield by Johnny Robinson. Good attempt by Steve Evans to even have his hands on the football. But it's fourth down with a 101 to go. 61 seconds in the first half. Fourth and long. Central back at its own 43. On fourth and 22, Evans to punt. Evans has punted twice, once 44 yards. The other one went only 20 when he was backed up against his own end zone. Sean standing back at a 30. From the 43. Vic Johnson standing back at a 25. They want to watch him, probably kick it away from him. And they kick it high and short. Johnson angling over. He'll let it bounce, and it takes a big central roll. Down to about the 12-yard line is down there. So total of 45 yards on the punt. And Lafayette will probably just sit on it to end the first half. 
So Evans has gone 44, 20, and 45, and at 45 yarders, the longest of the year. He ended up three 44 yarders before that. So Lafayette up 10 to 7 with first quarter points. Central back with the halfback pass from Speller to Steve Evans, bringing themselves within three. We'll see what Martin, who's thrown a couple of interceptions, will do. They'll just go up the middle of the line. Quarterback sneak. Out to about the 15, pick up a three. And that may be the end of the first quarter. Clock is at 23, and I don't think Lafayette will even think about running a play. They'll go for the Kool-Aid in the locker room. Aaron Hopkins, linebacker, made the stop. Clock ticking down to a dozen seconds. Took a while for Central to get going, but they made a game of it again. And at the end of the first half, we're five seconds away. We'll be able to tell you the score is Lafayette 10, Madison Central 7, and there is the horn to end the first half just before Martin calls for the snap from Bischoff. Lafayette leads by a trio at halftime. We'll be back to take a look at individual team statistics and how the scoring occurred after this two-minute timeout. This weekend.